and welcome back to my channel. I'm Wendy from Team Pish Crafts. Glad you could join me. Today I wanted to try something new. I've got these moulds from Amazon, which are candle moulds. There's a pack of three. Um, I've also got some single ones as well. I don't know where they come from. Maybe eBay. I've also got this little mould that's for a polar bear. And I have used him before in a project I did that's on Instagram. Come and find me on Instagram, by the way. Come and join in the fun. Um, I love seeing what other people are making. Anyway, my plan, this is the plan, is to make the little polar bear lay on the top of a surface of water and use the bigger moulds. I'm not going to fill them with resin. I'm just going to half fill them, quarter fill them, so that I've got iceberg type things. So the plan is to have a scene of water with icebergs around and the polar bear having a float paddle around in the water. That's the plan. I've also got some insiders. You may have seen these before on my channel. Maybe not. I don't know. They're on Instagram. I, I've used them a lot on Instagram. Um, and these come from a lady in Lithu Lithuania. <laughs> Lithuania? <laughs> I think that's what you're about. <laughs> and uh, she's on Instagram and the, her crystal moulds are absolutely uh, out of this world. They are so nice. And she's a lovely lady. You should go over and check her out. I'll put a link in the description. Anyway, I've got this big one that only arrived the other day. And I thought I possibly could use this underneath the water. It's, it's big round. Well, I've but I've got a big square mould, so, well, oblong mould. And uh, I thought the crystal could go underneath the water to give a crystal effect of where the polar bear is laying. Now, that's my plan. I don't know how it's going to turn out, and we'll have to wait and see. You'll, you'll probably know this before I do, because I haven't made it yet. But, yeah, that's, I'll, I'll try and fast forward again. I'll try and fast forward all the boring bits, because it's, it's not much fun sitting there watching someone pour resin. Uh, unless that's actually what you're looking for. You might be. I don't know. Anyway, I fast forwarded all the bits I think are boring <laughs> because I don't want to really sit through all that. And hopefully at the end, I'll come back to you with the bit that I've made. If you've got any comments, put them down below. I don't know if I've already said that. What I've done. Oh, I'm not having a good day today. You know, my brain's not with me <laughs> and neither is my mouth. I've got so many outtakes, you wouldn't believe it. Anyway, here we go. Here's the video. I'll come in at the end with the piece and I'll put some steels up as well. I hope you enjoy it.
you enjoyed it um, this is it at the end I don't know if you can see it very well on the images downstairs I do work in quite a dark area I do try and put lighting up but it's not always easy to see what do you think it's the crystal mold was on the bottom it does have a slight gap here um, if I was to use it again I would completely cut around the old outside edge um, so that it would be rough around the outside. I think that would have looked better than what it does with the piece missing. But I absolutely love it. What do you think? I mean, it was a an idea that came and there you go. That's what it resulted in. What do you think? 
You got any comments or suggestions? Sorry, it's a bit glary. <laughs> it's very shiny. <laughs> Um, yeah, if you've got any comments or suggestions, put them down below. I'll get back to you. Um, it is gorgeous. And it would be brilliant sitting on somebody's... Well, even mine. I might, I might keep it. Sitting on somebody's top with bottles of drink on there. Glass of ice. How cool would that be? That would be stone ice. Bottle of brandy. <laughs> Vodka. Whatever is a tipple. Okay, anyway, I'll put some stills up at the end. Thanks for joining. I'll see you next time.